We are the Israelites, the true biblical descendants of Jacob. We are the people of the book, the chosen people of the Most High, Yahweh. We are told that the year is 2024, but that is a lie. The modern Hebrew calendar even tells us that it is the year 5,784, but that is a lie also. The truth is, it's much closer to the year 5,994, leaving us a very short amount of time before the end of the 6,000 years that mankind was given to do all of his work. As it is written, 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 8, But, beloved, be not ignorant of this one thing, that one day is with Adonai as a thousand years, and a thousand years as one day. And Deuteronomy chapter 5, verse 13, Six days shalt thou labor, and do all thy work. If we have been given six days to do all of our work, and a day is a thousand years, you can see that we are very quickly approaching the 6,000 year mark. Right now, we Israelites are scattered among the nations because of our disobedience to the Most High's laws, statutes, and commandments. We have been put into a state of deep sleep for many years. And in this state, we have forgotten who we are and what we are called to do. But now through the grace of Yah and the examples and teachings of Hamashiach, we are awakening to the truth. These teachings contain ancient Israelite wisdom from the Holy Scriptures to help you in your journey and awaken your mind to how to live in this world and still walk in the truth and righteousness. In order for you to know how to deal with the world, you're going to need to reflect on yourself. You need to know who you are. You also need to know whose you are. You need to know who you belong to. When you wake up to the truth about your identity, it is a sign that it is time to come out of the world and all worldly things that you were previously a part of. You must reflect on who you truly are. You are the child of the promise. You are a peculiar treasure above all people on the earth. You are the head and not the tail. You are the light of the world. This is what Yah made you to be but you must accept it and claim it as your identity. As it is written, 1 John chapter 3, verse 1, Behold, what manner of love the Father hath bestowed upon us, that we should be called the sons of Yah. Therefore the world knoweth us not, because it knew him not. Beloved, now are we the sons of Yah, and it doth not yet appear what we shall be, but we know that when he shall appear, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. And every man that hath this hope in him purifieth himself, even as he is pure. The first thing that needs to be purified in you is your mind. Right now, your mind is filled with all the things that you have experienced in this state of deep sleep. You lie because you have been lied to. You steal because you have been stolen from. You fight because you have been fought all your life. And you hurt people because you have been hurt by people. This has become your reality and identity for many years. And long before you were born, this was the reality and identity of your parents and your forefathers. This is the generational curse on our people. And in order for you to break free from this curse, you must be transformed by the renewing of your mind. As it is written, Romans chapter 12, verse 2, And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of Yah. You need to wake up every day and remember, that you are being transformed by the word and living according to the word. You are an Israelite. You are created in the image of Yah. 
Yes, we know that salvation is a gift given by Hamashiach through repentance, forgiveness, and grace. But we must also be transformed by the renewing of our mind. So now let me ask you a question. What are you saying about yourself in your mind? Do you still see yourself the way the world sees you? Or do you see yourself the way the Father sees you? To really know yourself and know how you see yourself, you have to look within. This means you need to develop your insight. Insight is you seeing within and seeing in yourself what no one but you can see. You must examine your own spirit. Do you have the spirit of Yah in you? Or do you still have the spirit of the world? As it is written, 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 11, For what man knoweth the things of a man, save the spirit of man which is in him? Even so the things of Yah knoweth no man but the spirit of Yah. Now we have received not the spirit of the world, but the spirit which is of Yah, that we might know the things that are freely given to us of Yah. There is a simple test given unto us by Hamashiach to see if we have the spirit in us. And even though it sounds like an easy thing to do, it will show the measure and the extent of your love and devotion to him and to the truth. As it is written, Matthew chapter 16, verse 24, Then said Yahawashai unto his disciples, If any man will come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. This test has three parts. The first part is denying yourself. This can be done in many ways like fasting from food and drink, but more to the point, it speaks that you must deny your own ways and desires and actions and emotions and everything that makes you the way that you are right now so that you can become the way that he is. What you want to do or would do normally, you can no longer do those things. The second part is taking up your cross. And no, this does not mean walking around with a piece of jewelry hanging around your neck or standing on a street corner with a big wooden crucifix. It means to endure through your suffering. The process of you becoming less like you and more like him will be a painful process and will feel like your old self is being crucified and you must endure this suffering so that you can be perfected. The third part is you mentally, physically, and spiritually following him in all ways. In everything that you do, let the Messiah be your example. As it is written, 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 21, For even hereunto were ye called, because Hamashiach also suffered for us, leaving us an example that ye should follow his steps. Who did no sin, neither was guile found in his mouth. Who, when he was reviled, reviled not again. When he suffered, he threatened not but committed himself to him that judgeth righteously. Because he is our example, you must know him. You need to know how he dealt with the world so that you can begin to deal with the world in the same way. As it is written, John chapter five, verse 39, search the scriptures. For in them ye think ye have eternal life, and they are they which testify of me. You need to search the scriptures so that you can see the example that the Messiah gave and how he walked so that you will know how you are supposed to walk in this world. Once you know more about him, then you can begin to know more about your own self and how you will be able to make lasting changes in this life. You must know yourself. You need to know why you react to situations the way that you do. You need to know why your relationships fail over and over. You need to know why you struggle financially. 
You need to know why you get so angry at the simplest things. You need to know why you are the way you are so you can become a new creature. And in order for you to know these things, you must begin to examine yourself. As it is written, 2 Corinthians 13 verse 5, examine yourselves, whether ye be in the faith. Prove your own selves. Know ye not your own selves? How that Yahawashai Hamashiach is in you, except ye be reprobates. A reprobate is someone who continually goes back to their old way of living, who continually goes back to the sin that they had in their lives. A reprobate is like a dog that returns to its own vomit. If you have been reprobate in the past, let that old version of you pass away never to be seen or heard again and become the new creature that you were supposed to be by following the example of the Messiah. As it is written, 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17, Therefore, if any man be in Hamashiach, he is a new creature. Old things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. Remember, you are not defined by what other people think of you. You are defined by the word that the Most High wrote about you. Begin to view the scriptures as a script and the Most High as the author and authority who has already written your part. In every script, there is a conflict and a resolution. Now is the time for you to become the resolution and no longer be the conflict. Now is the time for you to stop being the problem and become the solution. Lastly, never betray the spirit that is in you. Other people don't know who you are because they don't know who Hamashiach is. So you have to know him and then know yourself and be true to who you are as the chosen of the Most High Yahweh. You must know what you were created to do. As it is written, Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verse 13. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear Yahweh and keep his commandments, for this is the whole duty of man.